topside Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. The Lions showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Washington's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. You missed that uppercut. So we are underway here, and as we've talked about it going into this fight, and you really touched on this, Teddy, the biggest edge comes with him in terms of his speed advantage. Yeah, not just with his hands, though. Downstairs with his feet, too. He's getting rid of that punch from his by Washington. And now just some time with that clinch. What an impact that left hand just made by Washington. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. He missed with that headshot. The Lions able to land a nice clean left hand. Washington's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through this round here. The Lions hurt by a superb hook to the head. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Good block. Scored well with the left downstairs. The Lions putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Right hand downstairs. And he ties up on the inside. Body shot, body shot. And we count down the final moments of this round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lions. And now he's targeting upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. You're standing straight up. Move that body. 
You need to move that body more. Okay. Relax. 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 Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Frustrating his opponent with great defense. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Solid right by Washington. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The Lions done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Unload! The Lions almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Able to dismiss it. A well-targeted jab that time. Body shot, left hand. Washington's tag! Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. The Lions' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. He went in there and he ate everything. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. The Lions' right hand scores well that time. Right to the body. Ten clicks of the top. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for the mistakes. You gotta give me the double jab. All right. All right, you are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep boxing, just like that. You're gonna take this one. And round number three is underway. Nice block by Washington. Nice strike after catching one by the Lion. Catch the hook. Right to the belt line. The Lion's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. <laughs> 
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And he's holding. It's much too early. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Big headshot puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Washington's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Blocks that punch. Oh, you're doing great. Watch that. <laughs> now he ties up there. Blocks the headshot. Washington's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Lions blocking ability is doing well for him there. Washington's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Work the body. Lions just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Make your presence known. Assume. Don't fight his fight. Gab and move. Okay, listen. We got it. I want to see that straight right now. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change things. Washington's offense has completely gone away here, it seems. He was hurt earlier, and now all he's doing is worried about what could be coming to get him again. Yeah, he was on the highway earlier going about 90, and now all of a sudden he's taking those back roads going about 20. How long until the police catch up to him or his opponent pulls him over? Now hugging on the inside. That's a big shot to the head. Good smooth work by Washington. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. He just missed that shot up top. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Keep working the body. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Jump on him. Nice. To the head he goes with a left hand. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the... Look at that. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again?
Washington's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. The Lions keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Washington's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Take some of that speed away. Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Washington's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. There are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. A stabbing right hand by Washington. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You got this one. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. You're doing great. That's what I want to see. Good job, buddy. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Yeah. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. <laughs> Washington's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. Nice. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Take a deep breath.
So a fresh round is underway. But is it a fresh fighter? Washington's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. <laughs> Very effective with the block and then the score. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. the target with that hook. The Lions showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. And round six comes to an end. The Lions well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked okay, in this nice business work. because nice you work. never know with these blind judges fight. sometimes. Right. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Got it? It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. <laughs> Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. One, two, one, two. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Nice work, nice work. Washington's hurt by a big shot there. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Look at this. The Lions, hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight.
that's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.